Hey guys, it's Jessica Ortner, and I want to start off by thanking you for all of your support with getting this book. Um, I keep saying I'm so proud of it, and I'm so happy that you guys have been so supportive and to hear all of the great comments. Now, when I decided to write this book, a lot of people ask me, well, is there a diet plan since it's a weight loss book? And no, there is no diet plan because I used to jump from one diet plan to another and I didn't really get any results. And I had to change the way that I even looked at my food. Before, I was always on this search for the perfect diet. I felt like if I could just figure out the perfect diet and then do it perfectly, then I could get the results that I wanted. And that was so much pressure on myself that if I ever did slip up and have a piece of birthday cake, I would think to myself, well, I just ruined my perfect diet, so I might as well eat two pieces of birthday cake and have maybe some pina coladas or I don't know, whatever else I was drinking and eating at that time. So it's important to let go of this idea that there is a perfect diet and all the pressure we put on ourselves to eat perfectly. It is so important when it comes to taking care of ourselves to choose foods that really nourish us. But the pressure we put on ourselves to be perfect around our diet is often the very pressure that sends us to emotional eating, to us thinking, well, I can't do it perfectly, so I might as well not do it at all. This is about being easier on yourself. So if you feel like you put yourself under a lot of pressure when it comes to diets, Let's do some tapping together now. Are you willing to do this? Are you ready to go? All right, so let's tap on the side of the hand and just repeat after me. Even though I put all this pressure on myself to have the perfect diet, I accept myself. Even though I put all this pressure on myself, and it never seems to work. I accept myself. Even though I put all this pressure on myself, I accept myself and how I feel. I brought all this pressure to have the perfect diet. Side of the eye, should I eat that? Should I not eat that? Am I eating too much? All this anxiety, this pressure to be perfect. And when I mess up, I'm so mean to myself. Now let's give a voice to that mean girl or that mean man that we want to clear. So what do you say to yourself when you make a mistake when it comes to your diet? You never stick with anything. There's no point. Nothing works for me. I can't do anything right. I can't stick to any of these diets. so I might as well give up. All this pressure I put on myself. Acknowledging this pressure and letting it go. Even if I don't eat perfectly, under the eye, I love and accept myself. onto the nose, even if I don't eat perfectly. Chin, I'm okay. With every moment, I have the power to choose. And I choose now to be healthy. I choose now to be loving. I know what's right for me. And when I release this panic, under the nose, I do what's right for me. Feeling calm and centered. 
feeling confident and strong. Letting go of the perfect diet. Top of the head and listening to what my body needs. Now just take a deep breath in. Exhale. Check in with yourself. Do you feel any sensation in your body? When you think about the pressure you put on yourself, you still feel that pressure. I have a whole chapter in this book where I talk about this, about our relationships with food, around cravings, and we gotta get away from this panic, this pressure around a diet and begin to feel calm and confident, learn more, not about dieting, but about health, about how to nourish ourselves. You do that, that's when you experience real transformations. So I hope that helped. If you haven't picked up the book, I hope you do so. And comment below. Let me know what you think. Give me your aha moments. It's always great to hear from you. Until next time, take care and keep tapping.